Hey, cosplayers. Uh, I have an awesome tip, quick tip clip today for you. Uh, it's on pressing foam clay into molds. So you can get amazing detail. You can get uh, replicate items really easily by creating a simple uh, mold that you can then press foam clay into and be able to replicate spikes or rivets or just get some really cool details from uh, silicone molds that you can then put onto your cosplay that you wouldn't be able to get from doing anything else with foam, with EVA foam or anything else. So if you're excited about this uh, and learning uh, some couple tips with this, go ahead and type, what, what are we gonna have them type? Type mold or <laughs> cast, whichever one you want, mold or cast in the, <laughs> in the comments below, all right? All right, with that, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get notified about all of our quick tip clips videos that are coming out. And let's head over here and get started. All right. So I've got a couple things here. These, uh, we've got a couple molds. If you've watched our previous video on making a simple um, silicone mold using the Polyplastics mold, silicone mold putty. Uh, very easy to be able to just cast something or like mold something and get it ready to go and be able to cast it, replicate things. Uh, once again, it can't be like a two-part mold. Um, I guess you could kind of make that work actually if you wanted to, but uh, for the most part, um, you're just gonna do it kind of like we did here with this battery where you're just like trying to get something that you're gonna end up attaching that bottom to something else like these spikes or this type of thing, right? So right here, we're gonna set this off to the side. I'm gonna grab a little bit of uh, FOMO here from our big tub of FOMO and uh, get this piece ready. So pressing this into here, a couple tips is going to be, um, you can take it and just press it right in. It FOMO comes out a little bit stiffer than a lot some other foam clays and there's uh, some reasons for that. Uh, number one, we want, if you're sculpting with it, uh, it's not going to like just be falling over on you as you're like trying to have something, you know, that sits up like that. It's not just going to droop on you as much. Um, but if you're needing to make it a little bit more malleable for your um, mold maybe it has a lot more detail and the details aren't coming out just right out of the from just pressing it in all you need to do is just dip your finger in some water go ahead and work that into the uh, the FOMO and it will kind of uh, make that uh, loosen up a little bit and make it a little bit more malleable for you um, so for these pretty simple straightforward um, what I'm gonna do is when you're pressing it into this you want to try to avoid you know, pressing in the part that maybe has like some big seams from you kind of folding the FOMO. So just kind of roll it back on itself, create like a little uh, kind of pouch there. And then when you're gonna press that in and you have those kind of like big seams on the back side. So the rest of what's going in there is kind of smooth. It'll just take the details on the inside. So this one's pretty straightforward. This is a pretty simple one. Um, right before this, I actually pressed uh, this one though to show you guys the kind of details that you can get out of this and then I pressed this in right before we started the video to be able to show you kind of a couple demolding techniques so nice thing about FOMO being a little bit stiffer to begin with is that with some of these uh, you can press the foam in uh, the foam clay in one thing you want to make sure to do especially when you're doing one with more detail is you saw me doing it here a little bit but you want to really kind of like press just over and over and really shove your finger kind of down into there to push that foam clay into all the, the creases. Um, and so with some molds, you'll be able to do this, but not all of them, just depending on the mold and how many crevices are, there are and stuff and what there is to grab onto the foam clay. But with, with this, you can actually, we just press this in, you can actually demold it just like this, just kind of like prying around the, the edge a little bit and then gently peeling this out. So that's with, with uh, FOMO because it is a little bit stiffer out of the uh, tub. Um, it's not going to be as sticky and everything like that. If you did start to work some water in and stuff, it's going to be um, more malleable, more sticky, and it might stick to these crevices a bit more. But right out of the box, you can do some things like that, even with that much detail. But uh, in other scenarios, you won't be able to really make that work. Um, and so a great trick for that is when you press into the mold because you may be wanting to like make multiple of these, right? That was the reason for casting it and or just to get the detail into a foam piece. But you're going to want to like replicate multiple of these, right? Let's say I had tons of rivets I was doing and I filled this whole thing up. 
but then I want to pop those all out and then fill up more, right? So if I can't get them to pop out just on their own, what you can do is stick it in the freezer for about 20 minutes or so until it freezes all the way through, 20 minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the, the piece. And then you can demold it while it's frozen, have it out, and then that way it has access to the air and then just let it dry the rest of the way. Um, and then you can go to proceed to add more into your mold. Um, so depending, like with these, we might be able to demold these right now, see? So just depending on your mold, you may need to go. At, you may need to press them into a, um, put them in the freezer, which is a great technique that works really well and allows you to be able to demold those faster than waiting for it to dry all the way. But uh, with FOMO, it's great because it works really well for a lot of other things as well. So hopefully you found those tips uh, helpful, and you can watch our other video on making these silicone molds uh, simply and easily without a bunch of equipment. And we have descriptions, uh, links in the, to those type of things in the descriptions, links to our, the foam clay and uh, everything in the description as well. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give it a like, give it a that thumbs up. And if you didn't, it's fine if you give it a thumbs down, uh, but hopefully it's a thumbs up. And we'll, if you haven't yet, subscribe, hit that bell notification, share this video with somebody that if you know that they're a cosplayer and would benefit from, from these uh, tips. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thank you guys so much. And cosplay on, my friends.